video battle of boys. Painting and hobby materials. Blood, 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 God. How you going guys? Dean from Blog for the Blood God here. I've got a fat mat from Frontline Gaming in front of me here. And I'm going to be doing a short uh, video review for you guys. So uh, without further ado, let me clear the table and I'll roll this bad boy out and we'll have a close up look at it. Before we roll this one out, I just wanted to show you guys the case that it comes in. Because they now come with a really handy little travel bag. Which holds the whole fat mat perfectly safe. <laughs> Very, very lightweight unit, like I'm picking that up with one finger. There's bugger all weight to it. So uh, yeah, fantastic little unit. Um, it's got a zip that runs down with a double zip on it, so you can open it from either end. And it also has a little tag on it where you can put your name and contact details, which is fantastic if you've got multiples or if you've got, you and your friends have got them, you can keep them separated. And on the other side, it has a little graphic of the mat itself. So uh, yeah, now that we've got that out of the way, I'm going to roll her out for you. So here we have it, the fat mat from Frontline Gaming rolled out and ready for some games. So first I'm going to talk a little bit about the design. Frickin' love the design they've done on this table for a number of reasons. Uh, one, it has all of your 40k deployment zones built into it. So you've got your 12 inches from the center either way, as well as your horizontal, uh, what do they call it, um, vanguard strike deployments built into it. So it makes setting up easy, it makes the games much faster because you don't have to be stuffing around trying to measure out your deployments. It also makes things like your secondary line breaker objectives easy because you know as long as you're over that line, you're done, you're cool. Um, the other thing I love about the design is it's not just a city. They've made it look worn and they've made it look like people have actually been here with like tire tracks on it. You know, and like, I mean, having craters and stuff is one thing, but I think the design of this, giving the tire tracks and the, there's little laser locator sort of looking dudes, and there's a stack of newspapers over here, and I think a lot of these just little small touches have made, made it real, feel very real, sorry. Um, also, the cracks and stuff that they've done, it's a completely flat surface, but the way they've done the drop shadows and those sorts of bits and pieces really gives it that depth and helps it feel 3D, even though it's not. Um, which is fantastic because you don't really want that much of a texture because if you have that, you're going to get cocked dice every five seconds. So design-wise, it's five stars. Fucking love it. Um, the other thing to mention with the design that I really liked was you've got sections of grass, you've got sections of road, You've got sections of cracked concrete, you've got sections of dirt. So pretty much no matter how you've based your force, it's going to look like it belongs on this table. You know, whereas sometimes you'll have that board that's all grass and then you've got, you know, city fight guys on it that looks freaking stupid. Whereas, you know, this is a city fight board, but grass bases will look fine, as will city fight bases. So they've done a really fantastic job with their design work on this one. Really big fan. All right, so just give me a moment. I'm gonna whoops, trip on shit. Uh, I'm gonna lay out some uh, terrain and some models and we'll see what it looks like in action. All righty, so here's what the fat mat looks like once you've got some models on it. As you can see, once you've got the three-dimensional models and some three-dimensional terrain on there, the rest of that flat 2D surface really starts to blend in and pop and it all looks 3D. Uh, which I, I'm a real big fan of that. The models all look fantastic on it. The detail on the table is not too much as to overpower the models that you've brought. You can still very clearly see what's going on, which I love. Um, now, as for the surface, very nice and smooth. So your tanks and your infantry slide along it perfectly. There's no grinding that you'd get with a table that's covered in texture. You know, if you've got sand covered table, you're going to be chipping off your paint and all those sorts of things on it, whereas these guys just... You know, I've laid this down over the top of my existing table, so it's a little bumpy. Um, you, In an ideal world, you're going to want a smooth surface to lay down your fat mat, but even, this, even that being said, visibly, it looks pretty smooth. So I think it's a thick enough material that if you've got some small bumps, 
you're not going to create any major issues. Um, but yeah, so that's enough about the design and the look. There's one more thing that I want to go into, which is more about the materials that they've used. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab a few items of which I'm going to use to test the strength and durability and water resistance of the actual mat itself. So bear with me a second, I'm going to go grab those bits and pieces and I'll be right back. Alright, so first off let's have a look at the quality of the material. So first on the top here you can see it's perfectly smooth as I said earlier, but on the flip side you've actually got neoprene backing which as you can see has got a tread-like grip on it which is fantastic because if you've got your table and somebody walks past and snags it you can pull on it and as you can see that ain't going nowhere like that's me putting a fair bit of force into it and it's not going to slide which is fantastic because the last thing you want is to have all of your beautiful models thousands of dollars worth lay down on a table someone to walk past and snag the corner rip the whole mat off and take all your models with it. So that's a really clever design element is giving it that neoprene backing. Um, the other thing about that, which I'll see if I can get it in this video, is that it's stretchy. So let me just sit this phone down, see if I can get it. Okay, so see this Frontline Gaming logo here? I can stretch it. You may be thinking, who gives a shit? But the reason that's important is because that means this is not likely to tear or rip or anything like that because it's made out of a stretchy rubber-like material. So it's just going to be a very durable... I can see one of these tables lasting a very, very long time. Um, and now for the final uh, materials test I've got with me, can of Coke, and I'm just going to demonstrate how waterproof this thing is. So we're just going to pour some coke onto the table. Oh, look at that. There you go. And I'll just sit my coke down. But as you can see, that coke is just beating. Just sit that guy over there. And then, as you can see, that has not absorbed at all. And you can move it around the table. If I sneak my hand in under here. Oh, whoa, there we go. Let's run down to the flesh hand. Someone's going to need a wipe. Um, but that's just a perfect example there of how water absorbent, uh, non-absorbent, sorry, this table is. So you're not going to worry about spilling it and going, oh crap, now it's soaked into the wood of the table or whatever the other materials you've made your table out of. You can just trust that if you spill something on this, you just wipe it off. Done. And you know, as you can see, this is where I initially poured it. Bone dry. Yeah, bone dry. Which I think that's going to be a big selling point for these guys because I don't know how many of you guys like to have a couple of drinks over a game of Warhammer. And I know I've had a few tables that I've gone through where people will sit their drink down and then you get those rings from the bottom of the cup that you know, soak into the table. Whereas that's not going to happen with one of these guys. So it's durable, it's beautiful, it's water resistant, and it all stores in that carry ba bag from earlier, which is fantastic for people who... You know, you might be share housing or you might still live at home with your parents or something like that and you don't have room to have a big-ass Warhammer table set up all the time. So you could quite easily keep that guy in his bag, in your cupboard, and then when you have your mates over for a game, you just roll it out on the kitchen table. Done. Or you could roll it out on the floor if you really wanted to, but, you know, either way, I think it's a fantastic product. Five out of five stars from me. And, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, hit me up on the Facebook page or head over to Frontline Gaming um, and have a look there because I'm sure they've got a lot of information there that you guys would find interesting. And uh, yeah, definitely pick one of these guys up if you haven't already got yourself a table. These are a fantastic alternative, uh, particularly for just say you're a gaming club and you want to run a tournament. If you have five of these, that's a shitload easier to store in your you know, the storeroom than it is to store five you know, Realm of Battle game boards or... or whatever so um yeah definitely highly endorse this product make sure you head over to frontlinegaming.com check them out and uh as always thank you for watching video battle boys painting and hobby materials
Blood. 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 God.